allocated to him. Good afternoon, distinguished chair, persons, and colleagues. I am represent the uh, Russian Radiology Research Center, where we deal with RT research and trials. Here I want to introduce you our humble experience about the iridium contact uh, ray therapy. Brachytherapy is a type of therapy where the uh, source of radiation is introduced inside the affected organ in order to minimize the exposure to the uh, healthy tissues. The sources for the intratitial brachytherapy, uh, subcutaneous uh, brachytherapy, can be split into low power sources and high power sources that are implanted at a certain period of time and then removed out of the affected therapy. Brachytherapy was originally introduced as the uh, those escalation method we started with 125 great and further on the outcomes of brachytherapy were studied and analyzed it was introduced as a separate uh, treatment method and started to be applied with the uh, low risk prostate cancer there was the major follow-up made on that, and brachytherapy was adopted as the standard treatment that resulted in the application of high-power bronchotherapy as the alternative treatment method. Today, brachytherapy, both for low and high doses is the standard treatment for prostate cancer, the extremely low, middle low, uh, average uh, risk group, uh, and as well as the combined uh, therapy for high and extremely high risks. If we look at the experience of uh, foreign partners, and the recent publications in the area will see that the global practice uh, applies all sorts of approaches and single radiation dose as well as different types of implants ranging from one implant to nine fractions per six gray or nine fractions per seven gray there are also some 19 gray per one implant, and we can see that the toxic reactions for gastritis and some other regions are relatively low with quite high level of biochemical control for the patients. Other global overview was published in 2014. The purpose was to analyze the data published for high-power brachytherapy as the monotherapy for prostate cancer treatment. We took the uh, publications from 1990 to 2013, 80 publications in total. The uh, observed period was from 1.5 to 8 years with local control of 97 to 100% with uh, uh, genital, urinary, and gastrointestinal toxicity. Other major review comprised over a thousand patients with different fraction modes. Here the mode, the single mode was used for different progression risk groups, and we can see that even for the high progression risk group, the efficacy of this method resulted uh, amounted up to nine seventy uh, ninety-seven percent. As the result, uh, there has been uh, active debates on the uh, selection of patients uh, for this type of treatment, whether it should be the high, intermediate, or low-risk patients. 
so recently there has been some publications made on uh, high-risk patients for locally uh, extended uh, lesions. The selection criteria are the veri verified uh, pre-state uh, cancer, the uh, ability to have epidural anesthesia, and the contraindications uh, were shown in this slide. We have uh, studied the brachytherapy in Mona mode. The criteria was the histologically verified uh, pre-state uh, mode with the volume of the gland of less than 50 cubic centimeters with non-obstructive form and with the informed consent uh, from the patients. The slide shows three groups. Uh, the first group comprised 20 patients. The fraction origin was 10, gray per 3 fraction and three plants, the equivalent dose to standard fraction was uh, 89 gray. The uh, observable period is five years today. The second group started uh, last year. We have 22 patients treated, 20 gray per two implants. The total exposure was 30 gray. The standard uh, dose was 31 gray and the observable period up to 15 months. And the third group uh, has been observed for quite a long period of time. These are quite challenging patients with uh, repeated uh, pre-state cancer after X-ray treatment, including brachiotherapy combined therapy and nine patients that we had with uh, three implant per 10 gray with 36 months of observable time period this year. We started with four patients with 12.5 gray per two implants, and the total uh, exposure volume was 20 gray. As far as the first two groups are concerned, these are the patients with the low and middle progression risk. The second group has not been investigated enough. The uh, observable period was quite show, slow, quite small, although we see low toxicity with the minimal genital urinary toxicity for the first group. Uh, 10 gray per 3 fraction, the problem with obstructive urination was a big volume of gland for the second group we called the transfractual resection of uh, the gland and we the, there were quite acute toxic reactions. We had unsuccessful urigial and ozone therapies. To date, uh, after six months since the treatment, the patient has uh, almost uh, ceased to have any urinal problems, and he is doing quite fine. Specific survival rate for the patients for both groups in 100% of cases, there were no repeated cancers whatsoever after only one patient had uh, repeated cancer growth. That was the 53 aged patient with middle aged of prostate cancer. He was uh, exposed to pelvic uh, MRI and other tests. There were no signs of repeated cancers. He didn't believe us. He went to Munich to verify that, and uh, there there were no signs of repeated cancer identified, so he's doing fine, he, uh, he is sexually active for last one and a half years, and we consider him a positive patient. The only difference we can observe in this method is the uh, 
preservation of erectile function for the second group is significantly lower. However, these patients received horm hormone therapy and currently the effect of androgen depression therapy is still there and that is why the um, erectional function is still suffering, so it's quite expressed. The third group, salvage uh, HDR brachytherapy, is that's quite an important group for us because they they are they they face the choice to preserve a high quality of life with. Um, therapy or to have salvage HDR brachytherapy with high toxicity. According to the global data, the salvage therapy is effective for local repeated cancer after distant radiotherapy with the following uh, prerequisites. That's the low uh, risk group at the early stages, biochemical re repetition was observed after one to half year after the main treatment, the level of uh, salvage HDR therapy was less than uh, two, and the time period of exposure is over six months. That's uh, these are our selection criteria, and besides the above mentioned. Uh, items I would say about the relatively young age, the uh, absence of uh, late uh, uh, radiation toxic reaction from the uh, urine system and uh, gastral system, the positive urodynamics, the uh, absence of remote m distant metastasis and so on. Uh, anyway, if toxic reactions of third and fourth grade from the adjacent organs appear, that indicates the inefficiency of the treatment because the indication of uh, this kind of therapy is the alternative to preserve the high quality of life. So this group comprised nine patients, 9.5 grade, three implants, three grades. The uh, uh, total uh, exposure, those with 28.5 gray, observable period up to 36 months. Among those patients, four were after uh, uh, radiotherapy. Uh, some uh, after combined, two patients were after combined uh, radiotherapy with iridium source. Uh, one patient with iridium therapy plus uh, radiotherapy and two patients after the uh, brachiotherapy. These patients always have expressed early toxic reactions. As far as late toxic reactions are concerned, two patients had them of the second grade and one patient had them of one grade with the severely damaged urethra structure. Unfortunately, patients with the iodine combined therapy suffer most uh, because uh, the uh, the targeted organ cover is not even. One patient died from the progression of the main disease, and he had the express severe toxic reaction with auto catheterization of bladder. However, total control was reached in 100% of cases. One of the peculiarities of um, subcutaneous uh, therapy is the application of uh, gel. The indication for gel introduction to peristatic space is the salvage brachytherapy or brachytherapy with radium source in the mono mode when the priest State, uh, guess the, the necessity of using gel is uh, determined uh, preoperatively, and so we have to protect up to 15 millimeter of the uh, rectum. Here you see the arrow shows the volume of the gel which is introduced in the uh, prostate, and 
For the one, there is a dosimetric planning. Here, the patient is after transuteral resection. Uh, prosthetic cancer has been identified, and the gel on the right slide bypassed the prostate from the rectum. In conclusion, I would like to say that the advantages of high-dose uh, radiotherapy is a short term of treatment, quick rehabilitation, maximum precision of radiation for each patient, opportunity to be used at, high, at every risk group, and uh, minimal uh, complications, uh, retains normal anatomy, uh, don't cause uh, incontinence, high percentage of preservation of erectile function, uh, no risk of radiation for the person personnel and uh, uh, relevant cost. Questions? Will it us? When, after brachytherapy with uh, 185 iodine, you decided to use your own variant. So this time frame was from three years and more, three or four years. That is, two, two, five, uh, two and two in five years, we uh, saw the relapse. In 3.5 years, uh, the patient, uh, all this time, uh, the patient was on uh, uh, the therapy. And when we saw the absence of toxic reactions, we took him on salvage ter therapy. Those were young patients. So the dose is more 100, 200, about 300. And then I have another question. Of course, uh, your clinic uh, has historically great relation to brachytherapy. The experience of the clinic is extensive. In this line, if it were today, and you, you had to choose the method of treatment, regardless of what is doing what, in that clinical situation you are talking about less than 50 volume, so everything which is known, what would you choose? The variant which uh, brachytherapy with iodine, distance radiation with uh, high precision, uh, or in radio surgery mode or something else, and basing on what? Thank you for your question. Actually, the, as for the methods of treating uh, prosthetic cancer, if we compare low, uh, low risk and intermediate risk, because there are many, and in good hands, we will always obtain good results. Moreover, what concerns brachytherapy of high and low dosages, patients with low risk and intermediate risk of progression, I would choose between these two methods. And by now, I would prefer brachytherapy in monotherapy mode, because here uh, the reason is very simple. When we implant radioactive iodine sources, this dose is delivered uh, within several months, and uh, the patient is alive. He is, uh, uh, having his normal life, he's having sexual life, and the risk of migration of these sources for the time that has to receive uh, radiation therapy is very high, and the risks of creating hot and cold doses for, during this time are present uh, with iridium brachytherapy. Such risks are absent because we can control the dose that we want to deliver and where to. Yes, I see your point. Thank you so much.